Hello guys, in this video we're gonna do this nice effect. So let's start. Okay, let's start. So first in the layers you would find there's a black rectangle. So I'm gonna lock this one and then go to layers and add a new layer. I'm gonna name it red bottom. And in red bottom, get the marquee tool and draw a rectangle. And in the rectangle, go to the gradient tool and press once here on the colors. Put the opacity on the first one, 100, and the location, 24 on the color, and red. And the second color here, just drag it out and put the opacity on 0%, put it OK. And then press once here and shift and drag up and you'll have this effect. Maybe a little bit smaller. This is fine. OK. So now what we have to do here is edit, transform, and distort, and lift this a little bit up, and here up, and then get edit, transform, warp, and in the warp options, put it on flag, and put it this way, okay, and then deselect with the marquee tool, and lift it a little bit up, and then go to layers, and add a new layer, and let's name it red upper and in red upper we have to do the same thing so get the marquee tool and make a rectangle similarly and get the gradient tool and make a smaller one okay and then go to edit transform distort and lift it up and then go edit, transform, warp, and in the warp options, put it on flag again. And maybe make it a little bit, I think this is fine. And then drag it upward and put it here. Or maybe drag both downward. Let me see. It's a little bit similar. Maybe this one needs a little bit tweaking. Edit, transform, warp, put it on flag. And maybe put it this way. Okay. It looks more similar to the one I did before. You can just keep changing the flag until it looks like this. Okay. And now what we have to do later then. Make a... Get the text tool. And click here. And make sure it's 125 size. And I'm gonna write art style with the font Bergen Sans. So this font, I'm gonna put it link in the description below, you can download it. And I'm gonna place it here in the corner. And I'm gonna make a new layer, I'm gonna name it Lines. And in Lines, what we have to do is get the brush and we put it on nine first. And Window, Brushes, and in the Brushes, make sure you click here, which is 0% Hardness and click on the settings, shape dynamics, and put it, the control on pen pressure. And then get the pen tool and draw one like this. And then right click, stroke path, and with simulate pressure, press OK. And make sure you have the white color so it becomes white. And make sure you're on the lines layer. And then do one again, this time, Okay, and this time go to brushes and put it on 25. And with the pen tool, right click, stroke path, press OK, and you'll have a bigger one. And then get the pen tool again, and this time do an opposite, opposite one, like this. Then right click, make sure the, this one, you can put it on 15 maybe, or maybe let's put it on nine. And with the pen tool, right click, stroke path, and make sure you remove simulate pressure this time. Press OK. And we'll have this continuous one. So now let's go to the original file. I'm gonna remove all the filters and the effects. So as you notice here, I'm gonna even remove this one here. So you would notice I'm on the same step as before, but here you notice I added this one with simulate pressure and this one with simu simulate pressure as I did before. 
Here I put one with 25 with simulate pressure. And here I put one with 9 size and simulate pressure. This one without simulate pressure on 9. And this one on 15 size and with simulate pressure. And I put the color on orange. And this one I put the color on uh, red. And I put it on 15 size and simulate pressure. And make sure you have these shapes and uh, positions. So after that, I'm going to go to layers. I'm going to delete this one for now. I'm going to create it again as I did before. So with the text tool, I'm going to just write. Wait, I'm just going to delete this one here. I'm going to copy this one and place it here. So what? how did I get the lines on art style is hold control and press on the box of art style. You'll get at the uh, marque and with the marque tool, right click on it and put make work path and put one tolerance and you have the path on it. So get the pen tool now, but first in the brush, make sure you put it on 15 size and make sure it's a white color and then get the pen tool, right click. First, make sure you're on the lines layer, right click, stroke path and put simulate pressure, press OK and you will have this. So now you can actually delete art style and you will end up with this. So now what's left is the effects and the adjustment layers. So first I added effects for lower red. So when I click on it, it this happens. So let's see the effects. I just added, added inner shadow. The inner shadow, I put it on normal, white and 100 opacity, 41 distance, 92 size and the rest. Okay, and the upper red, I put the same effects on upper red. This happens. And on lines, I put a different effect. So I'm gonna click here and this will happen. It will blend in. So let's see the effects on lines. I put inner glow. I put it on color dodge, opacity 100, noise zero, white, eight size, center, soft, softer, range 50. And the color overlay, I put it on the color FF5C78, which is a pink color and opacity 100. I press OK and this will happen. So then I added adjustment layers, which is from here. You click here and you add adjustment layers. So I added hue and saturation. I added photo filter and I added levels. So first I added hue and saturation. This will happen. So if I double click here, I added 11 hue, 82 saturation and four on lightness. And then in the layers, I added levels. So in the levels, I added 19 here, one here, and 240. And the last is photo filter. When I click, this happens. So the photo filter, I put the color on FFB64E. And I put the density on 70. You can actually put it on 85. Okay. And in the layers, the last one is left red blur. I'm going to name it blur. Okay. So when I click it here, this adds and this one adds here. So what are those? These are just white and red brushes. So you go to the brush and put it on 1000. And first add red and click here. You can actually add red here. You can add as much as you want. Just a couple of clicks. You can even decrease the opacity and make like a very bright one. And on the right one, you can just put white. And then you can actually click here. You can see it's brightening up. I'm gonna put it on 100. And this happens. You can actually make it very strong like this. This looks even much better. Or this one, whatever suits you more. Maybe a little bit like this. Yeah, this looks nicer, I think. Maybe, but that's it, we're done.